Khan was saying, just a, a little bit more detail, the way I see it, okay? When we're talking about feeding, big government on logic when it comes to feeding, all right? Because if the dog believes it's alpha, through no fault of the owners or the dogs, remember this is all about a different way of communicating. When people and dogs don't speak the same language, you get confused. When a dog thinks, I'm the leader, I've got this job, as leader I must ensure survival of the pack. First thing I'm going to do is provide food. What the heck are you doing feeding me? Confusion with the dog. Big gap in the dog's, in the dog's logic. Now, some dogs will try and bridge that gap. But can't do it because that gap is back. I'm the leader, how can you feed me? They can't get through this. They'll try. Some dogs, for example, um, well, I went to see one dog, went to a neighbouring field and killed a lap. Brought it back into the garden. And everybody was horrified. But what do you expect a predator to do if its job is to provide food for its pack? Does that make sense? Cats. Cats can get home and learn it. <laughs> you know? A cat disappears for three days, comes back with a dead animal in its mouth, and we go, it's a cat. <laughs> a dog disappears for three minutes, panic. Dog comes back with a dead animal, oh, shock horror, because people don't do that. This is the fascinating thing about what we've learned is there is a very strong connection between us and dogs. This whole man's best spring, friend, it carries weight. There is a very strong connection. But what we do as people is what we think we recognize in the dog are human characteristics. Now, how many people do you know say things like, my dog understands every word I say. <laughs> my dog's my baby. We do it, we can't help it. We humanize them. This is the truth. This is fundamental to understanding working with dogs, helping them, is what we actually recognise, the connection. Our dog characteristics in humans, we think like dogs. Dogs don't think like humans. That's the way around it works. They think in packs, we think in tribes. Anybody here, hoping this finishes about five to get back to watch the England game? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why should you care? Do you know these guys? It's your tribe and you've chosen your tribe because of your nationality, or let's say, for example, a mate of mine, I made a, a joke about Peter Crouch, and he's a Liverpool fan. So don't you take that man's name in vain? He doesn't know the guy, but this is a member of his tribe. Just coming down here, past just about through Ipswich. Now, I know Ipswich and Norwich, I don't get on. There's a football team. Now, this happens, and the size of your pack, your tribe, is determined by the size of the opposition outside, and it's the nearest one. You look in uh, Manchester, Man United and Man City can't stand each other. Manchester and Liverpool is a rivalry. You go to Lancashire and Yorkshire, there's even a war over the roses, for goodness sake. <laughs> North of England, doesn't like the South of England, shandy drinkers. <laughs> England and Scotland, forget it. Britain and Europe, forget it. I hate golf, can't stand it, it doesn't do anything for me. But I was watching the Ryder Cup going, come on, Europe, because it was the Americans. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how you choose your tribe to suit the size of the enemy? We do it. We, we think like dogs all the time. I'm going to give you some more examples which make absolute sense in the common sense corner, where we think like dogs. You do it every day, you don't think about it. But when we humanise dogs, we give them the wrong information. If the dog gets the wrong information, it goes, okay, from what you're showing me, I know that has to be a leader, you're not it. <laughs> and it's me in a world I don't understand. And they try and make sense of it using their, uh, their instincts, that's all they've got. And their instinct comes from the wolf, which is why a dog that thinks he's the alpha will think, well, I have to provide food. There's a fast food restaurant. Okay, it's called Sheep Man. <laughs> but he goes, there you go, thank you very much, just done my job. Dogs will bring dead animals to their owners. You know? Go to a park, and find a dead animal, bring it back, and they go, there you go, Oof. And the owners go, <laughs> <laughs> Dog goes, there you go, help yourself. 